It's uh, just a little blustery out there today, so uh, time to do a little bit more in the kitchen. I have a couple avocados that uh, are particularly ripe, so I'm going to make some avocado chaffles. And of course, we all know where Otis is going to be. So I've cracked and beaten uh, two eggs. So the eggs I've mixed in about um, one cup of uh, shredded cheese. Now to that I'll add uh, the two avocados that I have uh, slightly mashed. And the spices I'll add to the chaffle will be dill, some uh, garlic powder, some smoked paprika, and some xanthan gum to thicken it up a bit. And Otis is still patiently waiting for what comes next. Now, besides bananas, Otis absolutely adores cheese. Drop that one. Whoa, eat it! <laughs> there you go. So my mini dash waffle maker is all heated up, so let's get started. After spraying the griddle with a little bit of oil, I added in the mixture. The trick being not to overfill it because it'll spill and make a mess all over the place. The mixture has been in there about five minutes, I guess. So we'll open her up and see what we get. Ooh, doesn't look too bad at all. I was able to get uh, five good sized chaffles out of that mixture. Those I will top with cream cheese and enjoy. Yum, yum, yum. Fog soup out there this morning, so uh, back in the kitchen today. And Otis is all primed and ready. Where are you going? So what do we have going today, Otis? Well, we've been saving some chicken bones. So we're going to make some bone broth. So I've been saving a bunch of chicken bones, put them in the freezer, freeze them up, and then uh, when we're ready to make our bone broth, we put them in the instant pot and we set it to about uh, 20 minutes or so. There she is. Already, Otis now will sit and wait for a nice warm bowl. So once that's all done, we strain it through the uh, colander and let it cool for a bit. Was able to pull off some chicken from the bones for Otis, and then I'll add a little bit of the bone broth, and we shall see what Otis thinks of this. Okay. I think he likes it. And there you have it. One will be for Otis and the other one we'll put in the freezer for future soup. Well Otis, looks like it's another wet day today. So uh, what do we have going on in the kitchen? One of those things I hate doing is throwing away food. So. Today we're going to make um, mushroom and turkey bacon chaffles. And of course, Otis heard me grating cheese, so I do have to share. He does like his cheese, or should I say love? <laughs> there you go, Bubba. So I've whipped up my two eggs, to which I will add um, about a cup of the grated cheese. And I've added uh, leftover mushroom and leftover turkey bacon into my mini chopper here, and we'll chop that all up. And to spice it up, we'll add some celery salt, some dill, some smoked paprika, and a little bit of xanthan gum, again, to thicken it up. And I checked the fridge and saw that I had a little bit of leftover spaghetti sauce, so guess what? We're gonna add that too. After adding the spaghetti sauce, it was a little thin, so I added about uh, 
a tablespoon of coconut flour. Now we'll add it to the mini waffle maker. So we'll close that up and see what she looks like. And poor Otis. He patiently waits throughout the whole process. <laughs> So it's been about five minutes or so. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, looks pretty good. And what do you think, Otis? Pretty successful morning in the kitchen? I boiled a few eggs up too while I was waiting for the chaffles to cook. 